If you ever thought about being an architect but thought you couldn't handle the math, you aren't alone as you might find this situation a little relatable. I find architecture really cool and I love to design and create models, but the problem I have is I'm weak in maths and physics. That is why I am confused whether to go with architecture. It's too bad that more than most people think this because it's just like a handful of other stereotypes about architects that aren't true. Let me ease your mind by saying you do not have to be great at math to be an architect, but you can't be completely incapable either. But if you can get through school, then you can get through university too, until you have to do the architectural licensing exam. If you really think being an architect is the right thing for you, then math shouldn't force you to quit architecture. Math is one of those subjects where many people feel that they either understand it or they don't, and there's some sort of genetic mathematical intelligence. The problem is the phrase, I am not a math person. That is not real. I'm telling you right now, stop saying that you're hurting yourself by doing so. Because you can become anything you want to be. What part of math do you need to improve on? Are you having difficulties with addition and subtraction or are you not good at multiplication or is it trigonometry or calculus? Here is a construction drawing I did for the project showing detailed section and 10 construction details. Did I use some math skills to draw this? Absolutely, but none of this is impossible or magic and absolutely none of it requires trigonometry, calculus or physics. Truth is, I was so proud of myself for finishing this. But in the end, I did finish it, and you will too. You just need to do research and learn from other drawings and basically copy. Yes, it is not plagiarism if you draw it yourself or you can say courtesy of and then the manufacturer's name. And I mean the construction drawings only. Don't plagiarize designs. You also need to be able to solve simple equations where you substitute values for variables and solve for x. Those equations all have steps and if you follow them well, you're good to go. I've made a video about how to calculate how many light fixtures you would need for space and I will have that linked in the card for you to check out to get an idea of one of the formulas that I used. I've also studied at another university where we had more physics than the one I am currently studying at, so it depends on the university as well. If you want to get better at math, do a lot of math. Find someone who is good at math and good at teaching. You also need to note that most of the architectural work now is leaning towards digital aided design, meaning software that will help you design your building and your structure. So if you're not sure about how to calculate something or the length of an arc, a volume of a space, that all can be measured in CAD and other softwares. In conclusion, I think you should understand the principles and concepts of math and basic physics, but you don't have to be the next Albert Einstein and we all have calculators. And you don't need to memorize diagrams, formulas, as these will all come with experience, being on site, and reference materials. Because that's what reference materials are for. So don't be discouraged if you're not strong in math. It's a skill like yoga or riding a bicycle. You can learn it, and it should not be a source of stress. And don't forget, when you're out in the real world, you won't be working on a project alone. You can get into a big firm where the engineering department handles all the structural calculations, and you just do the details or the research or the production of drawings. But obviously, if you want to move up or to get your license, you must pass the structural section of the exam, so you need to have knowledge of math and physics. And I hope that clears that question up. I would like to give a huge shout out to these wonderful people commenting in the community page of the channel. Flavia, Matt, Sierra, Mirror's Peace, and kind sir that I can't pronounce your name, Google, and Anika. You guys are amazing and your comments really cheered me up when I was having a bad week. And question of the day is, what is the most exciting thing you did this past weekend? And let me know in the comments down below your thoughts about math and architecture. Do you love math? Do you use math a lot in your studies or work? And also keep me posted with any work that you've been doing lately so I can feature it in my next critique video. I must warn you, I'm trying a new catchphrase. It's cheesy though, so be prepared. Resha Shururu has left the building. Bye guys!